Hi guys, this is um a tutorial showing you how to use the uh, templates from my website www.arkeshalewisgraphics.com. So as you can see, my images are huge, and I make them huge just in case because some of my templates you can use them for other crafts so if you wanted to make a t-shirt or whatever you could upsize you could make the um, images larger if you needed to but I already make them so large so you may not need to but if you need to make it large for any reason you won't lose any image quality so when you pull it in the Cricut silhouette or whatever sometimes it it may crash or you get these little messages over here that the file is too large so that's fine and sometimes when you open it when you open the file it will not show up so some you just have to close close out the program and then come back in sometimes if you have any other problems I will resize it and send it to you if you've made a purchase but this is how you use um, the templates with the hole and without so as soon as you get in, you're, you're going to want to resize it, of course. Okay, this is the com this is going to be the complete setup. So you, the template is already set for you. So you got the template. Now you just need to print and cut and do your layers. There is another video showing you how to layer it. Um, it is in the group if you're here from the group. And it is on YouTube if you are looking at this from YouTube. So decide what, what size you're going to make these earrings. I always start with a 2.5 inch earring. That is the standard size for all of my earrings. You can make them any size you like, but 2.5 is where I start. It is not too little and it is not too big. So we're going to size it to 2.5. And then we're going to duplicate. If you want, want it to look the same way on the front and back, then you make four of these. If you are going to use put glitter on the back or a colored cardstock or whatever, a, a fabric, leather, whatever you're going to use on the back, you would just make two of these. So let's assume that I'm going to make the same thing on the front and the back. Let's um, make another duplicate of these. Let's attach these and then just turn them off for the moment now this is actually a, a template template if you did not want to use if you wanted to use this to make your own earrings you could and I will show you that in a few but after you get your um, four pieces for your printing cut or two pieces however you're gonna do it then you duplicate two more again and you're going to use this for your layers so up top you would need to make this a no fill and then let's say you're you're going to make I, I use no less than six if I'm using less than six I'll go to four and that's on a rush job or somebody's just really concerned about the weight of the earring because the less layer you, you layers you use, the thinner that earring and flimsy, it will be real flimsy. So six earrings makes it real, a good size, I mean a good um, thickness, and it is um, not flimsy. It is, six is perfect for me. You can use more, you can use less, that is up to you. But the less you use, the flimsier the earring will be. So again, this is for your layers. Don't change the size or anything. This will match up perfectly with your printing cut. So let's say you're going to use um, 
six layers. You will be cutting this out of black cardstock or white cardstock, but you want to make sure that cardstock is at least 110 pounds. If you use anything less than that, you're going to need more layers. Four ain't going to cut it if you try if you want to use just four layers if you use anything other than 110 pounds your four for four layers you may end up using um just depends on what what size of car stock you use what what pound of car stock you use so let's say you use 65 pound and you're going to use you want to do four layers you may end up using 10 layers to make that earring sturdy enough so if you start out using 110 pounds you'll do good so you could get by with four i've done it with four no less than four and, and I, I i think eight is the most i've done um for an earring i don't i, I just don't like them to be too heavy and th this is not a heavy at all i'm just saying i don't like it to be too heavy Six is good. So you duplicated that and you turned um, turned it into a no fill layer. So you're gonna for like I said, I use six, so you're gonna duplicate this. And keep in mind that for the um if you get the eight and a half by eleven cardstock, you can put at least three of these you can get you can get 12 12 circles if you if you're doing 2.5 if you do anything larger it's going to be like four four um i mean eight eight or eight or ten i can't i can't remember but it just depends on what size that you make, how many you can get off of one sheet. But if you're doing 2.5, you can get 12. See, here's your 8, and here's your 8.5. You know, and um, I have this. Let's group this. Let's attach these. Uh-oh. See, my, my, my machine is going wonky. I mean, my program is going wonky. I have a lot of other stuff open right now. Let's see. Select all. I just did control A to select all. And then I hit attach to attach them. Okay, so I paused it. it. had a little glitch, but I'm back. So, what I was saying is Cricut will take a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch there. So, you can't go all the way to um, 8.5. But, as you see here, you can get 12 12 of the um, 2.5 inch circles on a sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, 110 pound cardstock. And you're not all the way at 11 down here. So th these are this is your setup for, this is for two earrings. So now that you have that, you can cut that off, cut this on. See, it's acting crazy again. Okay, now you have everything you need for print and cut, everything you need for your layers. Just cut your layers off, and for your print to cut, you just hit make. Send this to your printer, cut it out. You can use um, cardstock, you can use matte photo paper, glossy photo paper, Epson presentation matte paper, um, Canon matte photo paper, 
I use matte, matte everything. Um, I, I like glossy paper, but for this type of craft, I'm not fond of glossy paper. Because all glossy paper is not created equal. You run the risk of some for the type of, the method that I do this in, and then I'll show you in. You run the risk of some glossy paper, um, the ink just sits on top of it, and it does not dry. So when you touch it, it smears. So if you put that Mod Podge on this, it is definitely going to smear. So I like matte paper because that paper absorbs the ink. And you just get a nice image. It's, I love matte paper. So you print that out and you put it on put it on your machine, your mat, and you cut, let your machine cut it out. Then you would come back after you get that done. Then you load your machine with your black card stock, white card stock, whatever you're going to use. And then you hit make and let your machine cut these out for you. And the good thing is they already have the hole, so you could just line it up. I, again, there's a video um, in the group on YouTube. Um, I think I'll post this to my website too showing you how to put these together okay and then that's it for the um circle the ones with with the hole for the heart it looks like i turned it into a, a no feel but no can't turn it back to print so let me go grab that i'll be right back okay same thing with the heart I like to start with a 2.5. You can start whatever size you want to start with. I just like to start with a 2.5. And this has no um, no hole. You could just go ahead and set your um, do your duplicates. Now with this image, you're it will not be able to be the same on the back. So you will need to put um, cut the backs out of glitter or whatever. So you could just go ahead and set this up. So for print and cut, you would just need to. You would hit make. You would cut those out. You come back, hit duplicate. Turn these off. Put no fill on these. Again, I do six layers, so you can get, let's see how many you can get out of a sheet. I'll put you again. I don't know what's going on. It's having a little issue today. Let's detach. Look at. I should have did it all together, but uh, well, let's see if this is going to let us do, I have to do a second video, so I'm going to have to pause this one, or cut this one short. You can get, you can get 12, almost. Let's see. Nah, you're not gonna be able to get twelve. You get nine. You can get nine. So you can get nine hearts, and then you will have to um load up your um load up a second sheet of black cardstock or white cardstock, so you can get the full twelve. Okay, so yeah. I 
don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, cause, yeah, you can get to the um the twelve. You can get the twelve hearts. So I don't know what I was thinking for the other video. But again, you can get the twelve um hearts you'll need for this um template. So you load those up, hit attach, hit make. Load your mat up with black car stock or white car stock. I was worried about the time because th this recorder only allows 15 minutes of record time. So I was trying to rush through it. So yes, you can get the the 12 that you need for the um for this setup. So you just load your mat with um black car stock or white car stock, whichever you're gonna use for the uh, middle layers. And then run it through, let your machine um, cut it. So again, like I was saying before, the um, with this setup, you're gonna because what is it not? It's not locked. So what is it doing? So hey, this has been a little sketchy lately. This Cricut design space. Okay, so as I was saying, the reason why you're going to need to use glitter or something else for the back is because if you just cut four of these just like this, when you go to put it together and you flip this over, these will not match up. You will get this shape and you don't want that shape. You want the shape of Africa. So, with that being said, when you get ready to do your glitter, you can make this duplicate. And then you just cut your main ones back off. And then you're, you're going to make this a no fill. And then you cut these two out of glitter or color car stock or whatever but you're going to want to horizontal flip them before you cut so you load your machine and you cut that out that way when you flip it around when you go to put it together and you flip it around after it's cut after it's cut not on the machine not on the program in design space but after you have it cut it will load up to the back perfectly Okay, let's say you wanted to put a hole in this. Well, after after you have all this cut, you could just use your um, hole punch. I use the Fiskars 1 8 inch hole puncher. Because it's, it's a perfect size hole for making jewelry or earrings. So I use my Fiskar to do that. Or if I, before I did any of this I just showed you, I would go on and make a hole in the template itself. Y'all see that? I don't know what's going on with Cricut. So I would just take and so I was gonna let Cricut create the holes for me. This is before you make any um layers, any any if before you duplicate when you first pull the heart in to make the earring you would do this first if you want Cricut to do the holes for you and I like to make it white so I can see where I'm going with it with this you're gonna let's see what size is this and I don't like to go any lower than a two three but for this, that's kind of big, so I would need to go lower. And because this heart dips, it doesn't matter that you cut into it here. You can do that. That's fine. But if you don't like that, you can always. Well, let me show you this first. 
So you can line that up with that point and then you can select them both and then just slice that out. What am I hitting? Hit weld instead of slice. Okay, slice. And then you would have a hole there. I'm not fond of that, but if you are, that's fine. Or Or you could also just attach just before we do that let's um, duplicate that. You could attach a loop. So you make two circles, slice one out of the other. That's too big. I don't like that. Make this duplicate. That hole was just too wide for me. I, I would not like those wide holes. Slice. Okay. And you could make this a color that's in the heart or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go with that. And then you want to make this a, a, a um, print. And then you can slide it here and you can put it to the back of the earring so the let me zoom in for you I was gonna start tripping if I zoom in so I don't know what's going on cricket you can put it to the back of that earring Let me give it time to catch up, y'all. Okay, so you could just um, send that to the back so it could be hid hidden behind your little gold um, pieces, um, gold trim of your heart. You could do that like so, and then attach those two. Then duplicate, and then you would, then you would make these two. Hit make. Okay, any day. Okay, yeah, so I closed, it was just taking too long, so I closed the program and restarted it. So, after you make your dupl duplicates, make sure you attach, or make sure you, you attach, even if, before you make the duplicate of this, make sure you attach these two, so when you go in to make, it does not start sorting it. Look, you see what it does, it sorts it, because I didn't have one of them met, um, attached, let's go back. Let's 
be separate. No, it is. No, it's not attached. Let's wait for it to catch up. It's been doing this. That's a little weird. So now let's attach these two duplicate. Then attach these. Now let's see if that helped it. And it's still moving one. I don't know. I understand why this one moved. Everything is attached. Put that back up. Let's detach. Let's see. I attached it. How did it become unattached? But you get it. These will have to be attached before you, you can be able to print and cut. Okay, let's try this. It's attached. It's attached. So hit make. Great. You send this. You use your um. Send this to your printer. And cut it out. And then you just come back. And you duplicate. You can turn these off if you want to. And for these, then you're just going to hit no fill. And also, you're going to want to make sure you hit weld on that. Hit weld on that one. And then you make your layers, like I said before. Just duplicate and make 12 of these or how many of your layers you're going to use. And then you're going to also want to take... Um, and duplicate these and let's say you let's we, let's turn them yellow for now because let's say you're going to use gold cardstock for the back you're going to make your duplicate and you're going to flip these horizontal so then you're gonna let's see group all this for now turn that off then you're gonna hit make and then you're gonna load your gold cardstock up on your mat and cut it out and this will be the back of the earring this will be for the back of the earring so I hope this helps it was a struggle getting this together Cricut is doing something I probably have to shut down and reset everything to get it fixed right because I was working on some other stuff and it's open in the background so sometimes if you have a lot of stuff running it makes cricket go crazy so yeah i hope this helps and i hope i didn't miss anything if you have any questions please ask thanks for watching